guys, it was just a couple of weeks ago that the team was in Moab, Utah for an incredible adventure. We took three vehicles on the White Rim Trail. It was the Ford F-250, the Jeep Gladiator, and the Land Rover Discovery. And some of you guys commented and said, well, where is the Chevy Trail Boss? This truck, our project truck that we've been using for different tests and jobs and towing trips. And you guys said, well, why don't you use this truck as a chase vehicle for the no pavement needed series where we go long distance off-road? And we said, yes, that's a great idea. So on this episode of No Pavement Needed, we're gonna actually install a Thule truck bed rack and then a rooftop nest tent to turn this trail boss into a bit of an overlander. So here's what we have. We have this Thule Exporter Pro 500 XTB uh, truck rack. It's basically all aluminum and it's heavy duty, it's height adjustable, and it should be able to support this tent with no problem. This is basically a rooftop tent, roof nest, uh, but it's actually a little bit bigger than some of the other ones you've seen on our channel, like the one that was on the Land Rover Discovery. That roof nest is going on the Gladiator truck pretty soon. So in this video, let's just install this, see how it works, and uh, I can't wait, let's do it. Okay, how hard can this be? <laughs> Famous last words, right? Uh, okay, so I have the instructions. Let's do a bit of an unboxing. And this system is really meant for a full-size truck because these cross rails, which are also aerodynamic, as you can see, they're about as wide as a full-size truck, this half-ton. So if you had a Tacoma or a narrower truck, they would be sticking out this way. But as it is right here, it's just right. So it's just perfect. I love that it's height adjustable. So we have uprights. Okay. Uprights. We have a lot of trim, a lot of rubber. I think we have these saddles, which actually go onto the uprights like this. And this will actually help us hold the tent, the rooftop, or in this case, bed top tent. So, okay. And then these parts actually clamp onto the bed rail and actually hold it in place. And there are four of them. All right, let's get to work. First thing, these are the uprights and we need to mount these saddles that hold the crossbars. So we have the tools and the screws, the, this is all provided. If you have a power tool, yes, it would help. But for now, I'm just using hand tight. It's pretty simple. Step one, dirt simple. Saddle installed on all four corners. Step two, mounted to the base. Um, this is a little tricky. This is the base, this is the upright. And now, they said to loosen this and make sure this tab stretches in and goes down that channel. I guess I'm not loose enough. Maybe I'm not smart enough. Haha! -ha! Okay, it's a little tricky, but after a while, you get it, and then you can tighten this and adjust the height of the whole system. Um, let me see. And there's also numbers here from 1 to 10, so you can kind of judge each side where you are. I think it's just relative to each other. And then you tighten this, and then you have your upright. Yes! I get 
idea how the numbers work. I was like, why is the left side like zero 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 one 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 one? It's right. double digit number. Double digit. It's like a you're like a computer engineer now. Okay, so we got the upright mounted to the base. Now step three is very simple. We're just mounting these little nuts. And this is uh, loose right now, so we can put the crossbar in here later. I'm setting them all to number to nine, setting height. I wanna make it lower at first and then we'll, we can raise it later if we need to. So these four posts are very specific in how they are positioned inside the bed. This flat section that takes a lot of the load. In the rear it's pointed forward and in the front it's pointed at the back. So this is how it's gonna be attached and that's how it's gonna carry its weight because you're putting a heavy tent and also potentially two heavy people up there. So step number four is actually to attach the cross bars, the horizontal bars to the uprights. And this is before you actually attach it to the bed of the truck. And basically what happens is this nut goes into this channel. So you see how there's different channels, top and bottom and you want the more aerodynamic side of the bar pointing forward. So it's all kind of coming together and then you're sliding it into this. Okay, and then you're supposed to tighten it. Nice. Step five, threading the clamps. And basically what this is, is the clamp would go and basically squeeze the new rack to the bed rail. So we also have two of these lock interfaces for these clamps. And so two of them will have locks and the other six are just clamps. But there's a lot of them, so cue up the music and let's get going. Step six is to clean the bed rail. I think it's perfectly clean. And then also put a shim um, between the bed rail and the base. And it actually fills up the little space, a little gap and makes the whole attachment just a little bit tighter right here. The instructions say to put the front crossbar as close to the cab as possible. But we also have to be mindful of the wheel wells on the inside. And in case we want to lower the whole system, we have a little bit of space. And also because we're putting a tent on here, we don't want the tent to run into the cab. So we are at about a foot, but 12 inches right now. So let's kind of start here and see how it goes. Alright, so two clamps per post. We're putting one lock here on the driver's side. And now I'm finding out that the screw is way too high. So I'm gonna back it out a little bit. And then I'm also using this little foot to clamp from the bottom. So here's the little foot. And then I'm gonna go this way. Perfect. Where's the power tools? Now to install the rear crossbar, and it says to push it back as far as possible. And we kind of did, because you can see this bed rail is actually boxed in right here. And also we're having an issue with this Silverado. These plastic uh, bed rail caps have little tabs on the bottom. So when we're putting our clamps on, uh, it's an issue. So we need to align it properly. So let's keep going. All right, so we got them set lengthwise. It's pretty much square and it's about 41 inches between 
these rails. So from here to here. Now, the next step is to set it side to side. So we wanna make sure we're the same distance um, on each the driver's side and the passenger side. And here we have about two and an eighth, just a hair more than an eighth. So I think we're pretty good side to side. So let's clamp it down. I mean, tighten it and get the roof nest on top. Now we come to the uh, theft deterrent section of our show. So there's little end caps with locks and keys that install on the bottom of these vertical uprights. And there's a blank key that you use to install the lock. So it goes in, locks. Okay, so now this end cap is in place. Finally, the end caps. So the final touch is this strip that goes on top of the uh, horizontal bars. It's supposed to be just decorative and also, according to Thule, provide a little bit of aerodynamics. I don't know. So if you are installing other accessories like a kayak carrier or um, you might be using this rail actually to mount stuff. Uh, we're not this time. The roof nest has its own hardware. So we're covering this up. So Case, uh, I need to use your muscles to lift this tent up a little bit, okay? Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> this is part of your workout for the day. Whoa. So, the way that oh. the roof nest... Are you, are you holding it? I thought you had it ready. Okay, well just hold it for a second. Okay, go, come down. <laughs> so this is how it mounts. It's got its own rail system for the uh, rooftop tent, in this case, bed rack tent. And then it clamps down. We can meet up with the other side and tighten it all together. So how long did that take? Only four hours. Let's do the final unboxing, which is the actual tent. Can't wait for this. Okay, so let's see. It should be just an easy operation. Dang, okay. The ladder extends. Okay, there are a couple more straps. And then this. By the way, I've never opened this before, so if I can do it, if I can do it first time without ever learning about it, then how hard can it be? Yes! What do you think? Let me try it. Uh -huh. No, no, not more. Did you find the holes? Poles, Andre? Huh? Find the poles? I found the poles. Ah! Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, more poles. Can you help me, Roman? I'll help you, Andre. Come on, let me. Let's, uh, let's, I'm really let's, tired. Let's do this together. I'm really tired. I need to go sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Velcros? Yeah. This is Velcros. You know, with a truck, this is easy because you got a bed. And by the way, I got the easy part. I came in at the very end. Like that. Like that. Yep. That's not good. Check this out, I have a sunroof. I can gaze at the stars. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I have a power connector. How about a margarita mixer? Can you uh, that? Yes, and I'm over 6'2", yeah. and I'm, I'm stretching out perfectly. Look at this. Dude, it's like it's like a home away from home. It is a home away from how, home. How comfy is the uh, mattress? Oh, it's nice and firm. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. It's, it's cool. And the best part is um, you're up above 
all the bugs and the scorpions bears. well a bear probably crawl up here <laughs> <laughs> but certainly scorpion snakes and any kind of creepy crawlies right no this is the best chase vehicle i've ever seen hey tommy you, you gotta look at this thing it's, it's really cool that's yeah, huge it's not just huge but it's so cool andre come on down let tommy go up there dude um you you won't believe this oh what a shot <laughs> how's my rear end look <laughs> Looks very Russian, Andre. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. You put the little, uh, you open up the windows too? Does this window open up or does it hit the cab? It, it hits the cab. The cab. But you gotta raise, we can raise it. Go on inside. Go inside. Hey. Yeah, it's nice and wide. How long did it take to uh, unfold? A second, yeah. Oh, it's got a little um, Sunroof. skylight. Yeah. This is more of the uh, townhome to the one bedroom apartment. Yeah, for right? sure. I agree. <laughs> it's a big one. That's great. And it feels really sturdy. Like, it feels good. And the good part, guys, is uh, not only now do we have a much more reliable chase vehicle, Yes. but we've got all this extra space, right? Yeah. That we can use to put stuff into and actually bring with us. Right we go. here. Yeah. And did you know this? Hold on. Let this is this is enough space, Andre, for like a chaise lounge. We could, we could go camping with a chaise lounge. And you know what? Look, not many people can steal this because we've got keys to the rack. I bet you the lockpicking lawyer could, could go through these. <laughs> what, what do you think, Tommy? How long for the lockpicking lawyer to take out a Thule? Uh... Yeah, not long. So this is going to replace the Land Rover? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Why? Because it's, uh, well, let's face it, it's just a lot more reliable. It's nothing is ever broken on the Land Rover. Yes, until we go. Nothing will break. And then we'll look, we got all this utility. And then we've got... Not lockable utility, may I mention. Right, but then we also have a Chevy, a Ford, and of course a Jeep. Okay. Right, FC. So we've got one of the big three trucks. And I think that in itself is pretty badass. Yes, you, you admit it's cool. Yeah. So as you guys know, the plan is, or was, uh, to drive across all of America off-road, but uh, we've been kind of delayed because of COVID. Uh, and uh, we're trying to come up with an alternative plan right now to see what we can do to actually make this happen. But uh, yeah, with COVID raging in the South and in the West, um, we might have to do something different. Maybe just go across off-road in Colorado, but we're working on it. So stay tuned, more episodes coming as soon as we figure it out.